Good morning. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back tomorrow. <laughs> I am editing the vlog in my cozy little support system over here. I'm having a very productive morning. I didn't sleep too hot, but I got up and did my, my work reports. There's even more work weekend reports I do now. I did those. Just finished a 10 mile very hot run. 10? And that was after I did my six miles last night, which wasn't too smart, but I, I'm going to give blood. So I knew I had to do my run before I give blood. But now, time is of the essence. I need to drink water, shower, eat a bowl of cereal, and get to my appointment in about 35 minutes. You can do it. All right, so I'm 10 minutes late to my one blood appointment, but I made it. And more importantly, I stopped sweating. I took my shower, I ate a bowl of cereal, drank a bunch of water, but I was more concerned that I was like still sweating. Um, but I got in the car and it was like a further drive than I expected because I forgot I accidentally booked it at the further one blood, further away one than the one that's closer to us. Um, but I'm across the street from a Sprouts and I'm near a Mellow Mushroom, so I am gonna have a hard time just being like, hey Sarah, let me grab lunch for us. Weekend fun. Look at all those trees. Here we go. All set up. All right. I'm all done. Um, I pride myself on, on donating really quickly, and this time, seven minutes. Seven minutes from start to finish. So. Looking pretty good. I will find out. Uh, they'll email me. Email me my antibody test results in two to four days. Um, I got some peanut butter crackers and look at this cool um, shirt they gave. So here is a cool one blood black t-shirt, short sleeve, one pulse, hashtag Orlando Strong with the uh, a heart, um, like a memorial shirt for Pulse nightclub, um, which is great because I've seen a few of these at the marches I've been going to and it's great because you're supposed to be wearing black at those and I don't have many all black shirts, but this is very important for so many different reasons. All the good stuff, but now I think we're gonna go out to lunch. I have to go home and get Sarah. Look at this good girly. Just sitting on the couch. Being super cute. How you doing over there, Peter? I'm doing good. You sleepy? Just a little bit. I advise everybody to not donate blood after running 10 miles. Good idea. You get very tired. Good advice. How'd you get so cute? Alrighty, so we are back in the car um, because it is super stinking hot and <laughs> our online order, like we ordered in advance and so We've been waiting to go. Because Saturdays are a really yeah. busy day for. Well, the food truck is only open on Saturdays, yeah. and it is one of the big things that they publicize. And so we wanted to wait until our actual time, like the deliver, our um, like the confirmation said. So Peter's went out there, told him that we're here, but he's back in the car because it'll still take a little bit of time yeah. to make. And um, it's like I, I was watching the news when I was donating blood, and they brought up that like today's going to be a hot one. Like the heat index is at a minimum 96 degrees yeah so a classic peter and sarah sitting in the car lunch in the car eating, eating away in the car. yeah but we're so. faced in a direction that we're getting baked by the sun <laughs> so when i get the food in a couple minutes i'm we're literally going to switch to a different parking spot so that the sun's just not right hitting us and so this was our we talked about in the vlog yesterday how we are going to consciously make sure we shop at a black owned business use our money in a black owned business um once a week so we're back here at that lovely place called Dajin Eats in Eatonville, Florida. Oh, look at this hero. Also, um, because we ordered online and the last thing Sarah ordered using the vendor that this company uses, she sent to Violet, so the order actually came underneath. <laughs> my burger has mac and cheese on it. Oh my oh. gosh, and we got fancy fries. This looks divine and it's scalding hot and fresh. Is that mine? Yeah. 
I did not realize that there was going to be stuff on our fries, and I'm happy about it. So I got the Erie Burger, which I didn't, which I got a similar thing last week to it, but it's the it's like a Caribbean inspired burger. See, there's pineapple, and there's like sweet Delicious tangy cheese. cheese and sauce. Mm. This is they make the the protein in house. Yeah. Um, Sarah has just got her Instagram photo up, and I look at just look at that. I already ate like almost half my burger. It's so good. It's got a sweet and tangy. Mm. How's the mac and cheese? That looks like divinity. And the sauce on the fries are a little yeah, spunky. It's jerk mac and cheese. Oh. The bread is so good. The bread is super good. Ooh, that was really good. <laughs> so. I feel like mine was good. less than yours, so I feel like I ate. But I mean, it also could be because I went on the run. That like I'm not like overly full. I'm like just no. Right. I'm like perfectly full. We have to go back home. I even home, though. like went into my like what my burger was wrapped in and like scraped the cheese off. It was so yummy. They only provided one napkin though, and if you know me, I need a lot of napkins. So I'm a little bit of a mess. But, but we're gonna go home. Um, we got notified via text that our power went out, and with it being 96 degrees, it's supposed to be back in the next hour and a half. But we just want to make sure Eve is good to go. Right. Um, and then nothing else is going on because sometimes like the fire alarm would go off. Right, or the power goes on and off, on and off, and it gets kind of like weird. Yeah. If that happens, so we just want to be there with okay. Eve until we know it's good, and then we'll see yes. where the day goes after that. Yeah. We are here. We are here. It's Disney Springs. So we took a nap for like two hours. Well, we were waiting for the power to come back. So what do you do while you can do nothing <laughs> except for be with your sweaty hot dog? Yeah. You take a nap. Yeah, so our power was off, but it didn't last too, too long. So we are actually meeting up with none other than Dominic Evco. So Don has been here for a little bit with his family for Father's Day weekend. So we're gonna go social distancing now, whatever they want to do, really. Well, we got some live music. Oh my god! We're being in the house. Woo. Yeah, sitting outside. <laughs> chunks of cheese like that. Every night at dinner, my dad used to like have the cheese grater right on the table and cut us off big chunks to have as like a side dish. I love cheese like that. Especially this time because like, we literally only got two and a half hours with him. Right. But seeing that we wouldn't, like, this was not expected, then it's like, I'll take what I can get, you know? And so. Right. Yeah, he's leaving tomorrow morning already, so like, we're not going right. to see them again. Yeah. So we're going to go real quick before we leave to the Candy Cauldron, which honestly is like one of my top three places in Disney Springs. Like, this has always been, I got to smell it. We're going to go inside. I know. So excited. Oh gosh, oh gosh. We gotta wait a little bit. Okay. Gotta wait our turn. Ah, oh, the candy. This popcorn is so good. Where's I like the chocolate kind. You know they make this, I believe they make this in house. Maybe it has a longer shelf life. Or these were made in a park. Ah! 
haven't actually driven through property in a while. And so, we're gonna sneak peek at Epcot and Magic Kingdom. I don't know if it's lit up. What? It had been before. Maybe they're getting ready. Guests arrive on Monday. But not for the parks. Not for the parks, but... Sarah and I are battling so hard internally. There's so much DVC availability for Monday night. But it'd be such to do with like me dealing with work. We have to figure out something with Eve. But like, I just want to book a, a room night. and just like stay in the room mm -hmm. with the DVC, with the Stacy, right. with the MDX. All right, at least with our staycation, like you're gonna just be off of oh, work that first that first whole day. Yeah. You know, like we can go in as early and just like enjoy. I didn't see it. Is it lit up? No, it's not. Oh. But I saw it, sorry. A little sneaky sneak. So we need to come during the day to check out the castle because the painting has taken place and it's really bright and I think we would be able to see it. Um, but we noticed a lot less buses over there. There were more buses outside of Disney Springs. Yeah. So. I just want to drive we, to when we get lodge. home, we had never even talked about the fact that they announced the dates that like we can reserve and whatnot, and so when we get home, we'll talk a little bit more about that. It's not even a heart anymore, or a Mickey Mouse. It's just lit up. Wow. The inside, I can see the inside. <laughs> I'm so excited <gasps> to stay at um, Bay Lake Tower because the last time we stayed there was our first Dopey, and we were we checked in super late. Our room wasn't ready, and then we went to bed. Like I'm so excited to just like enjoy it. Oh, lightning! Going under some water. This is the worst uphill run during any run with event. But the view on the other side. Yeah, that's what I tell myself. Oh! Yeah, castle lit up. Wow. Oh, I saw a people mover track just now. Was the people mover going? There was a bunch of people on it. <laughs> okay, so Peter is doing some research for his Father's Day present. Ooh. Would you say 2015 you started using your double edged razor? Is that what it's called? Yeah, 2015. Yeah. I think it was the year that we got married. Mm -hmm. So, um, Peter's been using, that's, that's what it's called, right? Double edged razor. Um, and he had always said when he became a dad that he would get a single blade. And we waited and waited and waited many years and it's finally time for us to order him one so we can have it. I don't know, it was just like your rite of passage of <laughs> becoming a dad. Um, and so he's looking up different mental types and different handle types and different brands. Ah! Hello, Frigilique. What's up? So while he's doing that, I'll do a little, a really brief, brief lowdown on the new Disney Park Pass system. I'm sure you guys have seen this. I know there are better channels out there that do a little more information explanation, but this impacts us. Disney Resort and other select hotel guests with valid theme park edition, which is us at the end of July with our staycation, can make reservations. And that is for the length of your stay. So with us being there, I think like a total of five days, we should be able to make five park reservations. Now on the 26th, annual pass holders without a resort stay can make reservations. So this is us any other day besides during our staycation. And we found out that you can have up to three reservations at a time. We're curious to see if we can have these simultaneously. I'm probably going to end up calling this week because I don't know if these reservations for our stay will stop us from making reservations sooner because the parks open before our stay. And then on the 28th, if you just have a ticket, you can make your reservation. So that was new news. Um, I think that was yesterday. There still hasn't been a true example of how the park pass system will work. It looks like the calendar, like park hours, it's just a different calendar. But we'll let you guys know on Monday how reserving our days goes. 
Also, there's no park hopping. You can only do one park per day for now. Were there any other little tidbits that were helpful, Peter? You can like link up with other people to make sure you all get in for the same place. Um, and then I think a lot of it is going to be dealt with individually because you might have already bought some park hopper passes that will not be used as park hoppers. We actually need to call about our annual pass anyways because we want to extend our monthly payment plan. Um, so that's super exciting. Again, if you were not aware, Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom are opening July 11th and Epcot and Hollywood Studios are opening July 15th. Oh, one other thing that I think there hasn't, it's not like an announcement or anything, but on the app when, um, when you click July 11th to see about Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom, the water parks are, do have hours, operating hours. And so I'm hopeful that that means that they will be opening as well which is awesome because we, we really like going to the water parks. Evie, <laughs> what's, what's he doing to you? We started playing and then we started wrestling. <laughs> she looks so cute. <laughs> Our friend Maria told us to watch this on Netflix. It's a special about Freddie Mercury, Queen, and Adam yeah, Lambert. Why did you replace me, huh? It's the first day of summer. Fill your paper with the breathings of your heart. William Wood Wordsworth. That was a really good show. Yeah, I think everybody in the world should watch that. Yeah. It's only an hour and a half. Oh, so I want some soup. Email us at tbp32830 at gmail.com if you want my Netflix login to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we always forget what your Netflix login is, but... Good to be Anything home. else for the day, no, sir? It's bedtime. Happy Father's Day early. Hey, thanks. Early again. <laughs> real Father's Day, not <laughs> fake Father's Day. Happy late fake Father's Day early, real Father's Day. It's good to be home. I already said it. Andy do, we like, Gaga. do we look like American Gothic? Raise your hand if you've ever seen American Gothic in person. Raise your hand if it was in your parents' bathroom growing up. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that was no, scream. That was, that scream. was scream. Even better. <laughs> we know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.